Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, miss seeing you in class. Mr. Ladine here. Um, today, Mr. Metcalf and I are starting off doing seven different basketball lessons that you'll get um, from now until Christmas. Um, today, we're going to start off with a little bit of dribbling exercises and activities that you can do. Um, if you don't have a basketball or any bouncing object, you can just find some object that you can hold in your hands um, that works for you. Any kind of like wiffle ball, small basketball, this size basketball works too. Um, but today we're gonna be standing up and we're just gonna have the ball right here in front of us. And we're just gonna start by dribbling with two hands. You wanna make sure to use your finger pads. You don't wanna use the palm of your hand, but your finger pads are right on your fingertips. So you wanna be dribbling like this and not with flat hands like that. So if you just wanna start two hands, Try to dribble it so it comes back to your like middle sternum area. Just like that. I'll give you 30 seconds to 45 seconds to do that. All right, for our next one, we're gonna, instead of using two hands like we just did, we're gonna be using one hand, and you just wanna push it down with your right or left hand. You can use either one. And just do that five to 10 times, and then switch hands and use your other hand to try to push it down to the ground. Make sure to use your finger pads and not the palms of your hand. This will, um, you'll be able to have more control over the ball and it won't be, able, won't be flying all around your house and breaking objects in your parents' house. So try that for 30 seconds, and then we'll go to the next one. For the next activity that we're gonna do, I'll turn sideways so you can kind of see. But you want your feet together and have straight legs. So like this. And you wanna, instead of dribbling, we're just gonna be rolling the ball around our legs. So you wanna go like this. Just go around like your kneecap area, not down by your feet. We're up here yet. We're just gonna go right at the kneecaps and just go around. Once you kind of get comfortable, you can see I'm using my finger pads to keep control. Once you get comfortable with that, you can switch direction and go the other way. So I was going this way, now I'll go this way and switch the direction. Just like that. So I'll give you about 30 to 45 seconds to work on that one and then we'll move to the next. For the next activity that we're going to do, we kind of did this already, but this is a little bit more advanced. So remember when we were doing just the one hand dribble, either hand, and then we switched to our other hand? Now for every dribble, we're going to alternate hands. So like one hand, switch hands. You'll see that I'm switching hands every time it goes down to the floor. So right here, I'll start with my right hand, and then I'll go to my left. Right. Some of you might be left hand dominant or right hand. You can start with the left, so it'd be left, right, left, right, or the way I did it the first time with your right or left. So I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that one, and then we'll move on.
The next one we're going to be doing, this is where you can get either a basketball or any other object. Um, like in my pocket here, I either have my phone or wallet. You can either use your phone if you have one or like a wallet or a pair of socks or something like that. Something that you can hold in your hand. And we'll just have the ball start right here, right at our waist. And we're, we're just going to go wrapping it around our back. I'll turn sideways here. So you kind of hold the ball and just circle your body with it like this. Once you get comfortable with that, you can switch directions. So I was going this way. So switch directions. I can go this way. This will help just with hand-eye coordination and getting a feel for what the basketball feels like or any other object and being able to move it around your body and be stationary while you do it. So I'll give you 30 to 45 seconds to do that one and then we'll move on to our next activity. All right, so our next one, this is gonna um, apply for the dribbling as well. I'll turn this way. What we wanna do is have the ball right here in our waist again, and we're just gonna drop it and catch it. We'll do that one for a little bit. So just drop and catch, drop and catch. Remember to catch it with your finger pads and not your palms, because it'll have you'll have more control over it and you'll be able to catch it easier. So I'll give you about 15 to 30 seconds to do that one quick, and then we'll put a little adaption in there and go from there. All right, so now, we're gonna make it a little bit more advanced. So now when you drop and catch, you're gonna drop, touch your head, and catch it. So drop, touch your head, and catch it. I messed up there, that's okay. Drop, touch your head, catch. Drop, touch your head, catch. So do that one for about 15 seconds, and then we'll add in another um, implication for that. All right, now for the next one, we're gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna touch our shoulders after we touch our head. So you might have to start up here by your head. So when you drop it, it'll bounce a little bit higher. What we wanna do is drop, head, shoulders, catch. Drop, head, shoulders, catch. So go from dropping it, touch your head, shoulders quickly, and try to catch it back by your waist or maybe before it hits the ground. We'll start with that one. So do that one for about 15 seconds, and then we'll go to the next. Last one. All right, the last one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do our dropping and catching series again, but this time we're gonna drop it just like that, but I'll turn this way so you guys can see. So I'm gonna drop it, spin around and catch it before it hits the ground again. So drop, spin around quick and catch it with your finger pad. Drop, catch. You might have to hold the ball up a little bit higher because if you hold it at your waist, it's a little bit harder to catch. So maybe hold it up by your head and it can bounce and then you'll spin and catch it. So try that one and then we'll come back for the last one. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. 
Um, I appreciate you guys participating and trying as much of these as you can. We'll see you on the next video.